Greetings, everyone. It's a beautiful day on the Sunshine Coast here in British Columbia. A little chilly, but I wanted to connect with you today and talk about one of the distinctions from the upcoming masterclass and course that I'm going to be doing. And that's embracing uncertainty. You know, we have this need to know, to control, to have things perfect, and it causes a great deal of suffering unnecessary suffering. And so I want to tell you what happened this morning. I was starting a two hour meditation and I heard that there was a possibility, didn't even know, but I heard there was a possibility that a retreat and um, coaching session that I had paid an enormous amount of money for might be canceled. And I got completely plugged in. I'd planned my whole life around it. I'd spent all this money to get it, and it was supposed to be a clearing before my course so I could just be present and centered with people in the course. And here I was completely triggered, right? And, um, and I sat with that and I went, okay, what I teach is to, to embrace uncertainty. I don't even know if this is gonna be canceled or not, but I'm completely triggered in the past from times when people have let me down, or things were canceled that I really want to do. And I just created all this upset without even knowing about it. And as I sat there, I realized it was all things from the past. Our triggers are always reactions to something that happened to the past. They're not even what happened. And so as I sat with it a while, I started to really take it apart and look and go, I'm, I'm upset because of what was done to me, was what I was thinking. How could that happen? It was done to me. And, um, and I realized, well, I don't know actually what's possible out of not doing that. It could be the best possible thing that happened to me. And it could be a bummer too. So I went through two hours and I was sitting there and um, I also noticed how much it was all about me and my expectations. And really the reason it might be canceled was because the person who was going to be holding it was in need. And here I was really focused on myself and my focus shifted as I embraced uncertainty. My focus actually shifted to, I wonder what that person needs, you know? Um, they, they are in a lot of pain right now. And here we're moving from a me to a we world. And I think that's a big part of my course. So at the end of the meditation, I did find out that it was canceled. And I had such a powerful experience of part of the teaching of embracing uncertainty is learning how to respond rather than to react to the circumstances. And so I just wanted to share that with you to look and see, you know, what would be possible in your life if you actually develop the capacity to, when you got triggered, embrace uncertainty, step into the unknown and feel that power that you have to choose your own way of responding in any given circumstance. So that's the message I wanted to share with you for day, today. Thank you so much for listening. I hope you will join us in the masterclass listed below and, uh, and the course, The Way of the Mystic. I will be talking to you on a daily basis. Much love.